Welcome to the Anxiety Slayer series. Our mission is to assist you with creating more peace and tranquility in your life through anxiety release exercises and supportive tools created to slay your anxiety. Today's Anxiety Slayer podcast is brought to you by the Anxiety Slayer Academy. We've been offering a free podcast for over eight years to help anyone suffering with anxiety find relief. Now we're helping you go deeper by providing step-by-step support on how you can get the best experience from our favorite tools and techniques for overcoming anxiety. Get your free Anxiety Slayer starter course at anxietyslayer.teachable.com. Welcome back to Anxiety Slayer. I'm Shan Vanderleek here with my wonderful friend and business partner, Ananga Sivir. We come together weekly on Skype to share Anxiety Slayer sessions with you and answer listener questions from our inbox and Facebook page. Together, we enjoy sharing a powerful collection of techniques to reduce anxiety. And today, we're going to be addressing a listener question about physical sensations that can lead to health anxiety thoughts. Welcome back, Ananga. Hi, Shan. It's so good to be with you again in this new year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. So we'll start today with the listener question that came in, and it goes like this. Hi, Anxiety Slayer. I wanted to thank you for this podcast. You guys have helped me so much over the years. I'm still on my Anxiety Slayer journey, and like anything, there are ups and downs. However, a lot more ups these days. I'd love for you guys to talk around physical sensations, which can lead to health anxiety, which is my biggest problem. Thanks again so much. You've changed my life. I'm grateful that this person is feeling better most days, but boy, I'm glad to be talking about health anxiety thoughts, physical sensations that lead to health anxiety thoughts, because it's something that uh, if if I were to put something at the top of my anxiety list, that would be what uh, I experience as well on occasion. Yeah, it's a really awful type of anxiety. It really does get into our minds and into our bodies very quickly, and it's very easy for the mind to just fold in on itself and really zoom in and become hyper vigilant about any physical sensations and make a story around them which is a story that is usually our worst nightmare something we really don't even want to think about but the mind will zoom right in and take us along for the ride and today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you can do to support yourself when these thoughts come up and seem to uh, to want to take over your mind yeah This used to be something I suffered with a lot when I was younger. And then I was mercifully free from it until a recent trauma, which caused my mind to start again zooming in on physical sensations. And that one came around again for me. So my favorite way to deal with it is to defer it. If my mind tells me, oh, you're feeling this, this could mean that, which it is quite quick to do on occasion, then I would just tell myself, if this is still there in a week, I'll consider getting support then. And usually it really isn't, and we'll have moved on to something else to worry about. So that's my favorite tactic. Of course, in the unlikely event that symptoms do persist, please seek professional help. That is such an excellent recommendation. Deferring it is just so, is so intelligent. It's such an intelligent move. The thing is with health anxiety, we can go and have every check and every test under the sun and we wouldn't have enough hours in the day or days in the week to do them all. And the mind, when it's on one, will just go on to the test we didn't get. Right. Or, you know, you go to a physician and you'll say, I'm concerned about this symptom. And they'll usually reassure you. And you come out and you get in the car and you think, well, that's a relief. And then your mind pops up from the back seat and says, well, you didn't tell them about that. What about that? What if that's a problem? Right. The anxious, hypervigilant mind is always looking for the next thing and the next thing. So it seldom is about one symptom or one physical sensation. It's about the mind being rattled and being anxious and it's, it's zooming in and it will always go for our Achilles tendon. That's, that's how the mind operates. If we struggle with social anxiety, it will go there. If we have anxiety around relationships, it will go there. If we feel some frailty or some overwhelm or concern about health, it will go there. 
So very often just to defer and distract and say, okay, thanks for letting me know about that. If it's still there in a week, then I'll, I'll get that looked at. Usually it'll give over. It may bring you two or three more, but eventually if you just keep, okay, well, if that's still there in a week, I'll, I'll look at that. Mm-hmm. Usually it will start to, to settle. And I think also another area that we need to look at is grounding yourself in the present moment. Instead of letting your mind take off and go down this path of gloom and doom and destruction and you know all of these things that, that our minds can do, draw yourself back to what you know for sure in this moment. That right now I'm here. Right now I'm okay. Right now I'm, we've talked about this before, right now I'm sitting in my chair. My feet are on the floor. I'm looking out the window. You know, I can see the birds at the bird feeder. What, what's happening right now in this moment? And that will bring you some relief as well. Yeah. Bring yourself right back to what is your present reality. As Oprah says, what I know for sure. Mm -hmm. What do I know for sure right now? And if you're with somebody, connect with them. If you're in nature, connect with nature. Hear the birds. Look at the countryside around you. Just connect with the sights and sounds and smells of the environment you're in right now. And just really ground yourself in that moment as best you can. And of course, EFT tapping is also extraordinarily helpful when you're feeling this way, when, when health anxiety pops up. So for instance, I've had some uh, issues with what I think is probably carpal tunnel with as much time as I spend on the computer. And so that gives that little tingling sensation, not quite like your hand, like your hand is falling asleep or your arm is falling asleep, but almost. So that, of course, um, caused some anxiety around, you know, well, what is that? Or what does that mean? Or where does that go? But by tapping through, you know, even though I feel uncomfortable about this tingling sensation in my arm, I love and accept myself. To come up with that beautiful supportive phrase And then certainly the tapping makes it even better to move through it and clear that out, um, no matter what it is. Absolutely. And I'm a real proponent of bathroom tapping. If you're worried about something with your health or a situation you're in, take a bathroom break and just tap the points through. You can get the tapping chart on our website at anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT. Start tapping on the top of your head, in the middle of the top of your head. And then move down to the eyebrow point and just down to the collarbone. Collarbone point is for fear, for calming fear and anxiety. And just tap for what you're feeling. Tap for the symptom you're feeling. Tap for where your mind's running to with it, even though I'm worried it's this. Tap for that. Mm -hmm. And it will help calm it down. And of course, the beautiful thing with EFT is it gets the underlying anxiety down. So you can make a routine of every morning and every night. Get hold of our tapping chart or get our free Anxiety Slayer starter course at anxietyslayer.teachable.com. There's that free course there with a guided tapping session. Tap along with me on the audio of that course every morning and every night. And then just give some extra attention to, even though my mind always flares up over physical sensations, or even though I'm always worried there's something terribly wrong with me. When I was young, that was my thing. I thought Mm -hmm. there was something terribly wrong with me and I'd get extremely anxious around doctors and hospitals. I always thought they were going to find something lurking in my body. That was my thing. Get hold of that with EFT tapping and just tap it through. Don't be ashamed of your thoughts or what you're feeling. Just speak your truth and tap the points through or even get on the phone to a friend and say, you know, this is really concerning me. Can I just talk to you about it for five minutes and tap the points through while you're talking? while your mind's tuned into the issue at hand. Instead of trying to keep push it away and push it into the back of your mind, just face it and tap through it and it will really start to calm down. We also like to bring forward Bach flower remedies almost in every episode, it seems, <laughs> because they're just so incredibly supportive. And I know that, uh, that there's a nighttime spray which is helpful. And that's something that you've recommended before. And what what does that include? 
Yeah, it's the full rescue remedy formula of all the wonderful remedies that are in there for shock and fright and anxiety. But it has this extra remedy, which is my favourite, white chestnut. White chestnut is for persistent, unwanted, looping thoughts. Those thoughts that get you at 2am or those thoughts that get you when you're feeling okay and, and you're with good friends and then your mind starts. And it's like, well, this is very happy, but what if there's a problem? Sometimes mm -hmm. it's when we're in our best situation that the mind will kick off. So white chestnut is really good for those persistent, unwanted, looping thoughts. Yeah, I've been finding uh, a lot of support in using the remedies and and appreciate uh, your your counsel and having that spray, both the rescue remedy for any time as well as the nighttime spray is just really another layer of support. Yeah, they're great. And again, with the tapping, the thing is, keep using them. Don't squirt it once or twice and think, oh, that didn't work. Every time you have a warm drink or a, a glass of water, squirt some in it, keep it by your bed, take it before you settle down for the night. And you're really just putting a few drops in each cup of hot water. A couple of drops. Yeah. It's really simple. And the accumulative effect, you soon feel it. Usually for me, within 24 hours, two days, you really start to feel that support. How else can our listeners support themselves to reduce general anxiety? Get our free course. Get the free course. We've got guided relaxations there, guided EFT tapping session. Just download that and commit to one practice a day. The trouble with the anxious mind is it thinks nothing's going to work and it feels like it's got too much going on to try something. So it really does block itself from help and support. So just make a commitment to yourself to download the free course or treat yourself to one of our relaxation albums and make sure you listen to something every day or choose an active practice of ours every day. Breathe along with us, tap along with us. And if you want to go deeper, then look at how to calm your fragile mind, which really goes into these kinds of anxieties in great detail. Get informed and commit to supporting yourself. As we said in a recent podcast, nothing to lose. Try it for a month, tick it off on your journal or get a one of those apps where you don't break the chain like Streaks or Productive. There are these very inexpensive apps where you set yourself a couple of goals a day and your phone reminds you to do them. See how many days in a row you can do five minutes tapping, five minutes breathing, a mindful walk in nature following along with a guided relaxation and review yourself in three weeks or a month's time and just see what's changed. Thanks, Ananga. I'm so glad we came back together again today and look forward to producing many more Anxiety Slayer sessions with you in the new year. Get everything you need to start slaying your anxiety today. Visit anxietyslayer.teachable.com to claim our free Anxiety Slayer starter course. You get four guided sessions, including an EFT tapping session, guided breathing practice, and special module on overcoming the fear of anxiety. Don't just listen to the Anxiety Slayer podcast. Become an Anxiety Slayer. Claim your free Anxiety Slayer starter course at anxietyslayer.teachable.com. <laughs>